what I did was I took the 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 sample part of it. You know what I'm saying? Just the I took the chop of it. So it would be See, I just did that on it. So I just took two parts of it so it would be and then this one. And that's all I took from the sample. That's all I took. Because that's all I needed because I, I could play with it. So what I did was I got funky with it. So you can play with it and, and you can just go like, when I play with it, I did like this. I said. Right? Now that was the essence of it, right? Now, to bring the beat alive, you got to have... um. You gotta have the necessary kicks and snares and filler to make it right. So what I did was like, like we'll run through my 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 my, my sounds real quick. That right there. A lot of you cats know what that is. That snare is from is from um that's from Top Billing by Milk and Giz. That 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 um kick. I mean. So what I did was I chopped that, you know what I'm saying? I took that piece and I chopped it because that's going to be your bottom snare. That's the snare where, you know, producers give the oomph to it. You know what I'm saying? You, you give that kick to it. And then over here I got the, the snare to it. So it's... So what I did was I chopped that up, you know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's, that's a hard kicking snare to me that's going to bring this beat out. Then over here we got your, your hi-hat... That's to keep the tempo going. Now this here, this is a kick that's gonna go on top of the top billing kick. So it'll be like, see it? Like boom. Sound like thunder. When it's together. Then this one right here is the snare. Now, a lot of my records I use this snare because it's, re it's reminiscent of a um, SP-1200 snare. So all you cats that know SP-1200s, you know what I'm saying? SP 1200s had that that old, not old school, but like that raw gritty, um, that raw gritty kick. So, so I took that. Then over here, my chimes. You know what I'm saying? Where I got my chimes in it. And what else we got? We got uh, chimes again. 808, of course, for the bottom. That give you that thump in the club with the old, like the the, the, the the break your back, like old. Then here is what I learned from my man Ice. This is what you call filtering it under. So whatever the beat you got, always make sure, always make sure you filter it under. So that gives it body. That gives body to the sample. You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you if sounding like this. It's hollow, it don't have no love, it don't have no feel to it, so if you, you know. Man, I got the oomph in it, you know what I'm saying? Right there, my keyboards. Man, sometimes I use the JV90 sometimes, or sometimes I use the module, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm dumb lazy, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be doing all that. So what I do is, G kind of, I go to a program called Fruity Loop, you know what I'm saying? And in the Fruity Loops, if you notice here, let me just scroll up. If you see here, I took all my sounds from the MPC drum set and put it into, like I made, I took all my sounds, so if so I don't got to go through the disc and searching for it, everything's here, I made it, you know, compatible on, on, the, on the PC. So if I hit that, you know what I'm saying, you go into all, look at all, like all the sounds I done got, you know what I'm saying, like kicks and snares and stuff like that, so you, know, you got, you know, you got all that in there, so I keep that, you know what I'm saying. And that's a good thing for you producers to have, just to have it in your in your um, just having your arsenal, so you know, so you ain't gotta read running back to your disc and going back and forth. You just hit that, and you know that the, the, the thing to making beats people is to make it as simple as possible, cause you just gotta churn out your beats. You can't be sitting around, you know what I'm saying, going through everything. You gotta make it right. Now, what I like about this feature is, look, for example, we have the string section. You go your strings. I'll hit this one for example. That's how I sound. Right? So what I'll do is I'll put it on the channel here. I'll put it on the channel here. Then I'll put it on what's a thing called piano roll. Now you look. 
I got my own keyboard right now. Look at that right there. So, so like for you cats at home that can't afford a keyboard, Fruity Loops do it for you. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's it's a pretty cheap package. I think it costs like maybe about seventy dollars. Seventy two hundred dollars to buy Fruity Loops, alright? So what I did in Fruity Loops was let me go back into the piano roll. Go back to the piano roll. I took the I took the strings. Come in there. You know what I'm saying? So now I done played all the samples in there to y'all. I done broke everything down. You know what I'm saying? So everything you know what I'm saying? So now what I do now is I bring it to life, man. You know what I'm saying? Set my temple up. Set the, set the tempo, set the way, the levels of the drums, because that's the key, you know what I'm saying? And then you just rock and roll, and it's, it's easy money from there, and you, you get this. You can also do on the MP too. You can tune the drums on the MP. But when you wanna like say when you start recording and you know what I'm saying, then you start making making it into record form, you wanna start breaking them joints down. You know what I'm saying? You wanna you wanna break them break the shits down into like different categories when you're doing your different joints. And basically that's how I do it.